tell us about your disco <laughs> oh, pants. Oh, Lord God, I, this thing follows me around forever. Um, long story, but I'll be, I'll be as quick as I can. Michael Crude fought in, in Barcelona for the Olympic title. I was in uh, northern Italy in the mountains on a, on a pre-season workout for a week, and he'd let the players go out on the last night. Uh, they were all out early after training. I stayed in and watched the... Uh, Michael win. I got all excited because Michael was from up beside us, you know, in, in Green Hills where he lived. Yeah. Um, and and I, I was just in, in brilliant humour when I came down to the village. The lads had all been drinking quicker than me, so I caught up with them. And uh, there was a square in the village where um, I, they used to have dancing and stuff. And in the end, whatever sort of happened, uh, I ended up, myself and Steve McMahon, former Liverpool player, ended up having a fight in front of everybody, a boxing fight on the, on the ring. And... Uh, I, I, I knocked Messing him out. Or for real? Well, there was a bit of both in there, I think, you know, and um, I knocked him out, knocked him off the ring, which was, looking back, I know it was a, a terrible thing to be proud of, and they carried me into this club, and of course, when I went in there, I was so excited, Michael had won the gold medal, I was full of beer, I'd knocked Steve McMahon out, <laughs> and I, I started dancing, and um, by that stage, Steve McMahon had grabbed my t-shirt off me, I was just in a pair of cut-off denims, and um, they were denims. a little bit high for me, I think, <laughs> at the you time. You sound like Kylie. <laughs> yeah, and, and, that's, that's, and there was some Man City fans who started singing that, brought it back to Manchester. I moved to Sunderland and thought that was the end of it, but unfortunately, the Sunderland fans took it up as well. So Niall Quinn's disco pants were... That's where it came from. The night Michael Crute won that medal, it was all his fault. Oh, 